beautiful Libras. So we're going to get started. It's about 520 in the morning here in California. I wanted it to have a bit of a live feel for you guys today. Okay, so uh, the first ones up that will go are October Libras. This is going to be your advice for the coming week starting Monday. Okay, so I'm going to label it in the front of the video. We're going to get some pentacles fever for you, a little bit of career, and we're also going to look at your overall energy for the coming week starting Monday for October Libras. This one I'm going to take, it kept flipping a couple times in my hand. So that's a message for you, Libra, for the coming week. Can we get messages for a Libra Sun Moon Rising October babies? Thank you much. That one was flipping about. You have the Four of Wands, Libra, and you have the Seven of Pentacles coming up this week, okay? So Four of Wands is about commitments. It can be on the brain. I feel like some of my October Libras, you're taking a rest from romance, okay? I immediately get that because it looks like the Seven of Pentacles could be a business school. Uh, it also could be a career opportunity you've been working on and it can be a project that you're onto, okay? For my October Libras, let's keep going here. Your third message here is the Eight of Cups. You could have made a final decision to walk away from somebody recently. The moon is shining in the background of this card too. I wanted to project that in this video. I think that's a message that by following your intuition here, the Eight of Cups drew out a part of you that uh, was very much in sync with an original thought. So if you thought something of someone or you were right on the money about behavior, and I'm talking about how somebody was communicating with you, I think the Eight of Cups was very good for you, okay? That choice. We're going to clarify this though, because this is an intuitive feeling that I'm getting. Uh, Four of Wands also here, there could be celebrations coming up or you have birthday parties, especially ones that you're attending for another Libra, right? In September, my October ones. And I also feel like you're preparing for celebrations too. I feel like this could be a career success for some of my October Libras or some good news you've heard too, because the Four of Wands can be interpreted that way. All right, let's get a little bit more flavor for the coming week. Let's get two outcome cards. What can Libra look forward to in the heart space? So what's the heart space? Temperance. We have temperance, Sagittarian energy. You do not have to be dealing with a Sagittarius. It's just fire here showing up in your reading. You also have patience that's with you this week, okay? Uh, outcome card. The other one is the Nine of Swords. So whenever this shows up in a reading, it's about controlling the worry. Uh, if you have anxiety too, I know today's supposed to be a magical day for Libras. Um, it's supposed to be very upbeat in frequency as I was reading the horoscopes. Uh, but this is something that might occur nocturnally for you, October Libra. The Nine of Swords wouldn't show up in the energy today if it wasn't uh, something to get under control. I do think that it might have something to do with a prior commitment okay, or your relationship to somebody. So the Nine of Swords and what I do whenever I see this card for personals or I see it for a Libra reading that I'm doing, um, this is an advice card to get this situated and under control with natural supplements like vitamins, going to sleep earlier, developing a routine where this Nine of Swords, it doesn't plague the Libra, okay, especially if you work many hours here. Uh, can I clarify this Nine of Swords for October Libras? What's the highest advice here? How can they get it under control? Okay, so we have a few cards. We're going to go over them. We have the strength card, okay? You are as strong as you give yourself the power to be, Libra. There's something amazing deep within you that controls this by having care for yourself. And the strength card is an advice from spirit to say, put yourself as the priority, okay? Um, and also make sure that anything that makes you happy gives back to you too. Make sure it's reciprocal as well. Even if it's not a relationship, just make sure the activities you do, even how you feel at work, if you give yourself ample breaks, if you go to school here, which a lot of my younger Libras are in school right now, I kind of feel like this is giving back to yourself, okay? Strength card. It's also Leo energy. So anything that brings up those vibes, right? Anything that brings up those Leo vibes. And we also have the three of wands. This is an advice card too. This is coming in as expedition. It's waiting for your ships to come in and seeing the horizon. I think you have to dream big and create new dreams for yourself, October Libra. Again, I want to reiterate with the four of wands, or I'm sorry, the three of wands. You have the three and the four here. So you're doing something in sequence. It could be uh, something at home. I'm also getting that you're being guided towards something with the temperance card. You're getting ideas that are fresher for yourself. 
Um, I do see a Libra here who's researching new ways too. There's a little bit of research here in reading and it's been helping you to create a new plan. Your decisions are coming up for October Libra. And so this is an expedition card for you to also garner support. Maybe family is where it's at right now. Maybe care from good friends, okay? The friends that have your back. Advice card is the three of wands. Go on an expedition. You might need to travel to a little bit like a staycation, uh, maybe this coming Friday. So it's looking like strength is here as major arcana. This is one of your advice cards and temperance. You're going to be balancing yourself out this week, maybe from something that recently occurred too. Okay, uh, let's get one more card for the October Libras here in the morning. What is their highest message? The chariot. Keep it moving. That's cancer energy. October Libras, especially if you're born in the beginning part of October, you have cancer somewhere in your big three. Okay. Uh, I also want to mention that momentum is here as a huge advice card. You have two major arcanas, actually three, one, two, three, strength, temperance, and the chariot. It's momentum, taking care of yourself and also being guided toward the right path. And you know what the right path is. Your North node is definitely in your heart space. Okay. October Libra. I see that you're, someone's planning a birthday here like way in advance is what I'm picking up. I'm also seeing someone very excited to spend it with someone too. Uh, one of you October Libras met somebody brand new and it's gone off to a hitch. So I see that you're planning your birthday almost with other people. Okay, let's look at that strength card. Thank you very much, Four of Cups. Yeah, that's what I was sensing. There was, um, there was something that happened recently where your other person thought it was a missed opportunity. This could have been a friendship or somebody who walked away. Uh, this happened recently. So Spirit's just saying concentrate on that cognitive strength that you have. And Libra's all our strength is up here. <laughs> it's all mental. You also have a Knight of Pentacles and you're reading the Knight of Discs. He's here traveling slow. It's a concise measure to take the travel very lightly at this time. Slow and steady wins the race. Also, you could be strategizing too. Whenever I see the Knight of Pentacles, it's a strategy card for my October Libras, okay? I wanted a little bit more of a sit down reading this morning for you. Higher cards for the October Libras and cards you might see this week are the Chariot. And we have Cancer here. Movement, 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 lots of it. I liked the Three of Wands for you because it's almost giving you a chance to uh, manifest deeper, look beyond the ocean with the Three of Wands. Okay, so that's one of the other favorites here. And you also have Temperance. I always think protection um, and beautiful energy around you. This can even be um, a model friend of yours that's just always had your back. Uh, with the Temperance card, you will see more support this week as long as you think about your moves with the Knight of Pentacles. It's a strategist. And uh, we take supplements and other things that are healthy to remove this worry in the Nine of Swords. Again, I'm picking up on a Libra in October who's been very nocturnal. Uh, this is someone who walks around at night uh, and can't sleep very well. So uh, that Nine of Swords, definitely get that down to a minimum. Identify the problem if that's you. And we also have good cards movement this week for my October Libras. I'm going to move to the September Libras in video two. I hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down and I will see you in the next few videos.